I think we are going to get into the match. And, yeah. So, all right. Let's go over one other thing here about um, this matchup that might be interesting. Well, the other small thing that was pretty interesting was we saw Olaf Meister play in the first half of that first game better than anyone else on the server on Mirage. And it'll be cool to see if he can do that again. Came through with no nerves whatsoever and put up some good performances. Um... I think that was really surprising. And I I think it's what the craziest part is, of course, is that he had only played for 48 hours coming into his first match yesterday. If some of you missed the storylines from yesterday, he not only did that, but he had a Deagle 2K. He had a Deagle 1K on another round. He had a 1v3 in his first half back after 10 months of not playing. And was pretty much the only player to have impact on that T side. But of course, we're going to start on Nuke this time around. So it might be interesting. We are just past. Are we actually into the second round? Oh, OK. Just had an issue with the, um, with the feed on our end. OK. Olaf this time around is playing upper as an anchor, trying to lock down the squeaky. We saw Rain kind of playing this position uh, previously. Of course, it is just the anti-eco, but on just this anti-eco, Config will take him down. Kirby here to watch the cross. And Rain is also right behind him. Coming out of squeaky. Somebody that's spotted by Rush and a player in Big Garage, too. It looks like they're starting to get picked apart. Could be a clean anti-eco here for the phase clan. A couple more shots down range, and it leaves just Blame F in a one-on-four situation. Seeing if he can grab whatever he can. Now, one thing about complexity on this T side is that uh, the weird the weird thing is Blame F, he's the guy who watches all the demos and really anti-strats a lot of teams. But he himself is quite anti-stratable, especially on this map. I think everybody can remember around on T side where Blame F will be crawling up the side of Mini, trying to get a lurk kill in. And on some of their execs and some of their fakes, he'll be doing something similar to that. And if you can find that kill, of course, you can have uh, you can have an easy round, especially on these rifle rounds. And so as a hard lurker that Blame F is, sometimes I think some people wonder how long he can keep getting away with it. So we're going to move into round three. Not much here to buy for complexity. Blame F trying to scope things out. Aggressive smoke downs outside, and Justin will lead the aggressive kind of lurk. It looks like a contact explode out into the ramp. Cold Zero is going to be holding here. 25 bullets in the mag on this Famas. And this thing just spits out bullets. He'll run out of bullets very quickly if he doesn't have any support, but it looks like we've got somebody with him as well. He'll take first contact and a fantastic spray down. Absolutely miraculous by Cold Zero. Rain will come in as a second line of defense, and he does well. It looked like it's for a second, and of course, Kirby also rotates in quite quickly. So here we'll revisit that Fama spray. Really well done by Cold Zero. 300 and a bit. With some extra damage on the fourth guy. And now it is going to be round number four. Everybody is going to be buying into this round, and we'll see how... Um, how FaZe Clan want to establish on the CT side. We did see Kirby get used in all the right ways here on CT side yesterday, taking a lot of aggressive openings, something that I personally love to see. Understanding the value of information, not being afraid to take duels. There's some good support nades behind him. Hello? Hello? Hey, buddy. How's it going? Pretty good. 
I was enjoying the sultry tones of your play-by-play. -play. Awesome. Oh. You know, it's a two-sided sword. I'm worried, because I think you could do my job, too. <laughs> Listen, FaZe Clan off to the flying start of a CT side. Talk about that cold Zera Fama's spray down. Ooh! The wide walk. And right now we've got the good old slow creep and crawl through lobby over towards the ramp. They're gonna go ahead and try and test it yet again, but Cold Zera in position, same weapon. They, however, better equipped. Cold Zera pops up, sees way too many heads for him to be confident in the repeak, so he kind of leaves that on the shoulders of Brokey, but that util utility forces him back. Hmm, that's a bit of a sitter. Finds Blame F just walking outdoors. Brokey, such an awkward position. When have you ever seen anybody stuck on top of these barrels? He gets hard and cleared out by Rush. And there's that fight going down on the opposite side of Ramp Room. 3v3, Complexity having taken control of Hell. Use Rush on the rooftops to keep eyes outside. And he just fought versus Kierby, losing out as did Poison versus Rain. Bombs thrown down onto the dirt of the A site. And it's an easy final frag versus Config. He falls into his death as FaZe fall into a 4-0 start. A really nice start to the CT side. We know they're good for a few rounds here on CT, but this is already very impressive. And here is where Complexity will have to dig deep for something creative on the T side. They're going to go for a Deagle buy-up, Tech-9, some upgraded guns, upgraded armor, and it looks like four smokes, five smokes in total. So what's the strategy? We're going to have a back heaven, cross out side smoke, or setup, or are we going to have something of a fake? That's what I'll wonder. Looks like the smokes will land in a flight pattern. Okay, they created a, a couple of plane wings here with these smokes. This concave area in the middle where they could try to cause a distract. It's just a distraction, though. They're actually here focused all on the ramp, looking to throw hands with Cold Zero once again. Yeah, but he's already kind of slapped them around a little bit. So oh. there's the uppercut punch from Config. Rocks his head off. Brokey does actually get into the peak this time around. Not pressured back by Utility. AK has been picked up by Justin Savage. Just in time. We'll see if it's used well. No, sir. Rain. Beautiful mini transition there. And Config will catch one by surprise in the corner of the ramp. Blame F with a headshot of his own. These deagles hang off. But can Complexity close this robbery of a round? Well, Rain barely alive here. Arguably lucky to have gotten that third kill on such little HP. They've got flashes between them, one of which thrown out. Blame F's gonna walk in on this. Brokey should make contact, but he just turned his attention away. And Blame, oh, fumbling his utility as Brokey swings out for the perfect trade to give FaZe their fifth. First up on the replay is Rain. And I, I really love to see that because what we saw was a huge opening. They got Cold Zera falling down the ramp. They one deeged him, and that's the perfect time. You just go, right? You're on the eco, you get that free kill. You're hoping the rotations aren't there, but Rain was right there. He got in the control room so quickly, you can't be surprised that he got that first kill untraded. So very nicely done by Rain. Don't even know what the setup was originally to allow him to get such a, such a good spot so quickly. But uh, Face Clan are not asking questions. They're just happy to have survived that eco round, and they move on to look for the 6-0 Brokey in a new position. Hold up inside of Secret, dodges an offshot after grabbing Blame F on the cross. And Poison is not in a position to trade, has to stand in the fire just for a chance, right? He's got to, um, yeah, he's got, he's got to go to, he's got to go to the uh, end of his life bar just to get a chance at a shot and there's no one there. However, Rush finds a trade outside on somebody else. It's Kirby who goes down. Can try to use Heaven against them again. We saw Complexity in a decent spot with that three versus three, having had a couple of players in heaven and then rush outside on the air conditioning. But they weren't actually able to get into the A site. We'll see now as this lobby flank from FaZe joins forces with what was the default A defenders. They know exactly what's going on. That flash actually blinds a couple people awkwardly. JKS dying from it. Config the only terrorist to get a kill here, but he gets himself another poison on the bomb site. Pushing this into the one versus one. Cold, massive health advantage, but versus that sniper, poison's just gonna have to flick it on him. Oh, it's such a good play. Yeah, sitting right there behind the boxes. 
Oh, he's not moving off of this. This is interesting. Cold, he knows. Oh, man. Even Cold's just way smarter. I love the way Whoa. that poison worked around the site that way. Typically, people go to the left a little bit, peek to right, play to 50-50. Poison tries to create a timing by going that far out. But uh, Cold, he's also patient enough to realize he hasn't been peeked from the other side of the site. Love that, man. Listen, FaZe, they're making it look so easy, but not everyone can do that. All the rotations, the protocols, they're looking good. It's very impressive to see what we're seeing, you know. I mean... Grabbing lobby control the way they do, it's not, it's not non-standard. Um, being successful about it, having a clean retake, making the correct rotations like we saw with Rain downstairs so quickly. These are the things that win you round on CT side of Nuke. And these are rounds they're getting sometimes despite losing a very unlucky trade. So very impressive stuff here by Phase 6-0 oh, on the map already. I, you know, I got to really rub the crust out of my eyes. I'm already surprised that phase are, are this far in, but seriously, after yesterday, uh, you know, such an inspirited performance, I'm really glad to see it. Rush able to pop off the smoke. Brokey in the bomb site. Gotta be careful. Almost actually ends up hitting Rain. But Rain finds one before he's taken out of this one. JKS, efficient trade frags, man advantage for phase. Bomb in the lobby, however. That's gonna be a problem. Although, Cold Zera, who was on top of it, has gotten cleared out by JKS, the Galil getting the better of him. Good thing for that smoke on Mini. Really not giving Kirby much space to play, but he will creep onto the other side of this. And now we have to wonder, does he go through? Blame F, keeping eyes on it. JKS, his hands are busy with the bomb plant, but as the smoke fades, the first duel's there for the taking. Kirby instead fixates towards the site, gets the back oh, of knows. JKS turned. And now Blame F, he's in that corner. Frag's gonna soften him up. No, not even, it lands in front. Oh, couldn't quite get it in the bread basket. Kirby, does he go clear this corner before crossing to site? Mm, he's still thinking maybe he's on vent. I mean, he has a good idea for it, but here comes Blame F walking out into success as Complexity find their first. You gotta love how Blame F doesn't overthink the situation. He's just, you know, there I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna peek when they tap the bomb. And by that time, Kirby's already done so much stuff before tapping the bomb, enough time's gone. It makes it a very kind of clean situation for him. Of course, Kirby could have still won in that spot, but again, nicely done and avoiding grenade damage and everything like that. So that's all we really want to talk about from that round. Apart from JKS getting these really important trades, the one on the opera on the backside, crouching inside of Hut, you know, kind of baiting his teammate, but understanding that if he sits there, he's guaranteed this kill. He cuts this line of sight off from the back of the site. He'll get the key kill on the opera. They can win the round. And then going ahead and following up the mini kill as well. And... You know, since we're on an eco, you know, JK has talked about how he's got to fill, he's got big shoes to fill with Obo. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they're not literally big shoes, right? <laughs> but they are still figuratively, figuratively pretty big. So he, he, Obo was putting up some of the best stats for complexity on, uh, on complexity. Yep. And that's no secret. He definitely was a great fragger and he developed a lot in the short time that he played for complexity. Looking forward to whatever team he plays for next. That being said, JKS. You know, we, we know that Oboe had trouble with grenades. JKS doesn't have trouble with grenades at all. Uh, he's got more, he's probably got more maturity, more calmness. He's been in more situations out here um, in, in, in these Counter-Strike matches. And uh, and, and I think he, he frags just as hard too. So it's just a weird situation where it's like a really hard player to replace, but maybe the perfect guy to do it. Yeah. Uh, a result of, I think, like a perfect moment. You know, if Oboe leaves in a different time, then I don't think there's, there's maybe... Uh, a justified replacement as easily available, mm. right? But, you know, nobody wanted to see Obo go. We understood why he had to take his departure, and I don't think too many people were, were against him. Yeah, unless you're motives. like the Bears and you have like the worst take of the century, <laughs> you're obviously okay with, you know, Obo <laughs> trying to go yeah, home in the middle of a pandemic, to, yeah. right? <laughs> get back to some... some essence of being a teenager but uh you know if, if jks to complexity is what we get because of oboe's departure then i think that that's as, as hard as it was as a complexity fan to see oboe depart you have to be excited for this next chapter from them yeah so we talked through the pistols of phase clan they were not successful complexity net themselves a second round and well the cash is still an awkward spot for phase so looking like a likely third however what kind of a wrench can phase clan throw into the works yeah, it's still scary for complexity. Great they won this like swing round, but even that rifle round they won, the 1v1, 
Didn't look like they were going to win that. So, oh, nice little queen vent drop. I mean, takes no damage whatsoever, of course. No nades to respond to that smoke for, out of Squeaky. And JKS is here to, you know, cause, cause a ruckus. He's, like, banging on the inside of the floor. He's that... He's the neighbor upstairs bowling. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's trying to get your attention. Nah, I live on the top floor. I am that guy. Uh, okay. He's Joey climbing on your roof bowling. <laughs> He's doing whatever it takes to be a nuisance. So they pull you, pull you out of the uh, the skyboard, the the rafters on the upper site. You know, make you rotate downstairs through ramp, through vent, whatever it, whatever it takes. That's that's his goal. This is a two-man stack, right? Rain's not an extra... Okay, good. Just making sure Rain didn't get I mean, that he's much a tall taller. guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like this Viking, bro. Nine feet standing behind blue box, but uh, those USPs just trying to stack. You know, two USPs does equal one man. But you need two of them. Well, Galil for Kierby. For the next Dooley player, mm -hmm. a good name would be Akimbo Slice. <laughs> okay. For like the next nuts du dually player. All right. I mean, we're on nuke, so maybe somebody pulls out the dually CT side on the pistol. Maybe next CT side. I promise you that if we get to cast a dual Beretta pop off, I will. I will get that in there. Akimbo slice. Yeah. Okay. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. Forgot about that. That's tough. I saw they put him in the newest UFC game. You can play as Kimbo Slice. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's cool. Like today. Yeah, today. I mean, not today, but when the game was released, yeah. they, they kept him in there. Yeah. Huh. Cool. All right. They kept a Galil. That you'd like to see. That one's going to get passed over to Rain. So listen, I mean, complexity, they won around, but it was a bit sketchy. So we'll, we have yet to see if they even have a T side just yet. FaZe could phase with the better, better team right now for sure. Curious to see if they try to do something like their fast upstairs take again, or if they go for something else. Because that fast upstairs take... I don't know. Oh yeah, they are they are going to try to go for it again. Fire, man. Olaf. He's going to lay a smoke down back sight. Gets completely Ooh. overwhelmed. JKS and Config just wrapping around the silos like it's nobody's business. Like it's their bomb site from the get-go. A plant easily thrown onto the back of the site in a 5v3, tons of utility left over, full map control from complexity. Blame F behind KRB, even though it's planted on the A site. Ah, oh, man. He's gonna go ahead and take his head clean off, and now we've got complexity's T side piecing it together. Yeah, that's a, that's a power move. That's a synthol move by Blame F to call the upstairs take again after it coming so close. Uh, I I don't know where Rain was. Normally he's the guy in front of Squeaky, so if they try any burst, he'll be there. But it's possible that FaZe didn't anticipate it because they almost handled it last round. They maybe thought that Complexity were going to do something else. So, yeah, nice brave call here from Complexity to show that they can win around very cleanly on the upstairs hit. And that really does put them up on the board, especially considering that FaZe are now in a situation where they cannot buy again. So the easiest path back to a comeback here for Complexity with this now four straight. Nice. Very quick. Very easy. But yeah, it was really like Olaf there mm -hmm. on his own with an opera to try to stop it, to yeah. try to stop the rap on him. Really difficult position when they're playing at that level of a pace. And not just one, but two players fully committed, you know, Config and JKS. God, that's a duo I would love to see keep, keep playing entry. Rush gonna soften up Kierby ever so slightly. Oh, do you want to aim that versus Rain? Not really. Mm. I don't. Maybe Complexity do. He puts down a smoke so that he can try and peer over top of it. Actually catching the Opper. Poison down to 12. Cold Zera locking it down in the depths of the tunnels. And he has the confidence here as he has two other players around him. But don't forget, right? There's only two M4s in this round for FaZe. They've yeah. already had great impact dropping Rush and lowering Poison as close as he can get. Yeah, but they have Rain is still outside guarding their fallback. And they know now that everybody's crossed. So that's the weird part about this round. Ooh, good Molly spread. Man advantage and, and Poison, who has been hurt, is trying to get it back by killing Rain. But Blame F goes down right by his side on his watch. Oh, but Kierby can't connect the Deagle shot, so Olaf's gonna get aggressive here. JKS is coming out from Squeaky by the looks of it, but Olaf, oh my god, denied 
They don't expect Brokey to be this close, Great. and Rain is still just omnipresent in this play. Completely corralled complexity. They had nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and you saw that eventual kind of clamp down by phase as they realized complexity were looking to turn the other direction, that complexity were gonna try and fight their way out. But flanks upon flanks, three guys up, despite FaZe only coming into that round with the double M4. Awesome way for them to get a little momentum shift back and retain their three-round lead. I, I think they really thought, okay, we can take a lot of fights out here very confidently if we go outside on the cross. So they didn't go for the deep smokes. They know there's no op out. So they don't want to overplay it in a situation where they might want to throw those smokes later on. But once they crossed outside and they didn't deal with Rain, who was sitting there waiting, mm -hmm. and then they ran into Cold, lost that opening kill, I think it would have it was more awkward to go back outside when you got a bunch of pistols who don't really feel like they have much to lose, who are probably going to be willing to take risks, as opposed to kind of fight through Cold Zera. But it's a lot easier for us to see than it is for them. And I'd like to extend some credit to Rain for playing that so well and being in so many different positions outside yep. when they did come back to him. Yeah, caught them initially by air conditioner, finds them through credit card, moves back into garage after Kierby's dead from that spot. So, yes, very much outside with Rain's name stamped all over it. But as he crawls forward, it's actually complexity oh my right God. there. He gets caught in his jump, dropped to 54, and Poison will land that following shot as well. Brokey's on the back of the A site alongside Olaf. They're worried of some kind of hut play, but in reality, there's a world com where complexity just turned this downstairs. Yeah, let's see, Kirby's getting comfortable in the lower site, and Brokey's going to try to seek back some information. So this is going to be a big timing game, and Brokey, he might be offered up one kill. Expecting an op to be here would be a bit of a surprise, but look how manically he's clearing all these angles. He's got his back turned to squeak. He's walking right into the rifle of JKS, who's camping out here. And this might make you think that it is going to be a lower hit. So we'll see. But oh my god, JKS, he's all fine by himself. This guy does not need a babysitter. Not at all. Kirby. Cleared out of the site. Olaf. Oh, so. Damn. Damn. Three frags for JKS just sticking it out on Squeaky. They came to him. And he sent them packing. 5-7. Phase still lead. Of course, if you're, you know, you're lurkers and Squeaky, then it, that's, you're typically there to stop people from rotating down vents. You're usually not getting the opening kill in a situation like this. But in an awkward turn of events, of course, Brokey's just trying to get some info back. Walks backwards right into him. The second two kills, very impressive though. Round 13 underway, and JKS trying to put some pressure on the vents once again, inside Squeaky. But more so just trying to look to do some spam damage, not really jump out or go for any kind of vent dive. Now, I think Kirby at his best outside was doing a, a lot of aggressive moves, but he's been a bit more laid back this time around. Sitting inside the mini, spotting, taking his time with it. And they, they also have rain downstairs, cutting off this angle to decon. Smoke to delay the ramp play. Just rush for the time being. Coldzera is playing down by B-Site Control, so they are wary of somebody slipping through secret but a good stack going on in this A site. You know, just passive plays from both of these teams in terms of controlling red and silo. We've got config outside of the squeaky smoke. Molly to the top of hut. Olaf anticipating flashes, but they're not coming. Is this a commitment? They have to ask themselves. They actually round out and find him turning his head. Kierby with a second, and a third player about to peek. That's Config with a bout of success, but Rain with eyes through Mini, just right into the bomb carrier. And sure, the Molly's gonna deny this heaven peek, at least it should. Bro, oh no, wants to turn, falls downwards, Config's double gets him back in, another fight, and it's minimal HP to make the difference. Complexity take it out, Blame F with the clutch, his 10th kill of the map, and now within one, oh. tying at seven. Man, Brokey tried to make a heads up play. He didn't even need to necessarily push out, but he found an opening. Config's shooting people right here, and Blame F, or sorry, Brokey comes down, misses a shot right under him. It's not one you deathmatch for very often, so I wanna give him some sympathy on that, but that one gets missed. He Frantically dives down, misses another shot, and complexity back in the round. 
I feel like uh, Faze have gotten a little bit unlucky, and Olaf definitely doesn't look that comfortable upstairs. He's not been doing great on the upper holds. Yeah, Nuke was his uh, weakest point yesterday's series as well. Yeah. You know, he, he took right back over when we got onto the dust too, but was a bit of an issue on this one. Yeah, long on dust too, he was killing it. Beyond Mirage, he was killing it. Nuke is just a bit more up in the air. And today it's looking a bit more complex. Eagle shot from Cold, right to the head of Rush. Oh man, Brokey is kind of sacrificed in that position. Olaf beacon out from Decon, but Blame F with the double kill is what really opens up this B site. And even then, Complexity doing a good job of just buying time. Mm -hmm. No f no hard commitment here in the off chance that they're about to walk into what could be an absolute stack. Olaf and Rain, all that remain. Damage has been done, but doesn't look like much more will connect. Rain's position now known, so final fragger from phase. Meant to be dying at a moment's notice. He will find an escape route, but he wants to go back into the action. Well, listen, yesterday, phase were able to get eight rounds on TG side, and then they Ooh. won 16 to 9. Okay. Rain goes for a heroic play there. But we're looking at an eight round T side half from FaZe Clan to win over Big yesterday. So big news. Big we have a lot to we have we have big expectations for, for this next half. Um, and they're already kind of meeting their quota here. Seven looking at eight rounds. We'll see what happens. I I genuinely feel like uh, the, the complexity won a few swing rounds that have made this game tied up, but overall, FaZe have played very, very well. Yeah. Conflict has managed to surmise a 19 kill half through the, all of this chaos, which is astonishing. I don't even know how that happened. Yeah, kill after kill. Some crucial ones as well, like especially on that A site, dealing with Brokey as he drops. But here comes Olaf, pushing into Hut, really throwing a spanner in the mix. Rain remains behind Vent, not completely cleared. It's Brokey's sniper to get two of those three mid-round moments leaving Poison crucially outnumbered and critically down to 21 HP. They are peppering him, salting him, and saucing him. You'd think a scoreline like 4 and 12 for Olaf Meister be a liability, but we saw the same really lackluster performance from him on this map yesterday, but this was also maybe FaZe's strongest map despite that. So I'm really not worried actually for FaZe Clan that they can put together a strong T side. Coldzera has really taken the reins here. I'm, I'm honestly love what I'm seeing and um, Maybe talk a bit uh, a, a bit more about it on the anti eco, but in the you know pregame interview we had a lot of insights. You know, there's a lot of turmoil going on in the Phase Clan camp, so getting some insights or every every little insight is worth its weight in gold. Um, but you know, long long story short, basically they're taking it slow. He's feeling pretty good, and he's doing a lot of research to help make up for the fact that they lost an IGL. Again, right, that championship mentality. Somebody's gonna have to do the work to keep Phase afloat. And it seems like he has Rain, Brokey, Kierby, each one frag coming into this A site, just using Mini to splice open the upper site and, well, take a second pistol by the looks of it. Coldzera, just nice angle on Secret as well, completely denying Blame F any attempt back into the action. JKS has revealed himself. 1v5 ace clutch, a bit too much to ask for. No, I don't want to... I don't want to um, jump the gun, right? But there's a part of my brain, Connor, that wants to believe that Cold Zero can't be a good IGL because, well, you wouldn't want him to be an IGL because he's such a good player and there's a lot of similarities and parallels to Nico. Yeah. You know, two of the most consistent riflers of all time, two of the best riflers of all time. But we know they both now have a background in IGLing, uh, at least with, you know, Cold Zero being some, somewhat of a secondary caller, Nico taking on the primary role for a long time. And for Nico, I mean, you know his performances. I mean, maybe they weren't Mel's level, but he also had much better team, much better players on his team this time around, and they were still superstar level performances. And um, I don't know how much Cold Zero is liking it right now, but honestly, some of the stuff that they changed, even from yesterday, I was a big fan of. Some of the CT stuff that they did differently, the fact that Kirby's playing a lot more of the star player roles and stuff. I, I feel like some stuff actually looks quite good for a honeymoon period. And hey, we all we were all critical of the honeymoon period, but better to have the honeymoon period and fall off than to have no honeymoon period and, and just start off badly, right? Very true. A 
Desert Eagles fumbling around in mini Molotov over towards Secret. Poison on the scout. It's a hard show to follow up when we had Searson in the server earlier. But I know we have talked about Poison's scouting capabilities. Got to put him up there as contender for the top dog. Go ahead, list him off. Top five scouters. Poison. Searson. Chris J. Probably just going to throw a simple in there just because, right? Yeah, you might yeah. have to. And then Ziwoo. Cause just cause, yeah. Ooh there it is, poison. Nice. And, and it's this specific angle, right? Yeah, yeah, he's always working hell. Look at him keep on going. It's such a great way to control outside. You can pick the doorway on the right, or on the left. You can pick the windows on the right. You can go up top. If you're in a new position to be in, sliding up and down the ladder. Like a fireman. Good timing. JKS on this lobby lurk. He's going to find Olaf kind of shuffling his feet, but the MAC-10 bests him. Bomb thrown down to the dirt. Galil catching a kill means it's just the Deegs left over, but did they anticipate Convig? No. He finds the bomb carrier. Seven seconds left. He just needs to deny plant. Good target prioritization, oh. but Kierby just in the nick of time. No, no not yeah. even. Yeah, he, Ooh. he turned three. As soon as that... So the, the bomb... So technically... Technically. It doesn't take four seconds to put the bomb down. It's three point X. But with the animation, it gets close, and what we see on the clock is not exactly accurate to the game state for how much time is left over. So as soon as you see the number change from four to three, no matter at what point, like if you believe that's 3.9 or whatever, it's too late. It's too late. Wrong. Too late to apologize. And Config, he gets he gets more than he, he's supposed to from the back of the site with the Deagle there because right now he, he can't be stopped. He's just hitting he's just hitting everything. He's 21 and 13 now. And here, yeah, this is where he grabs another kill. That was Olaf Meister coming laid out of the hut. And complexity come one step closer. Okay, I've revised my list. Searson, yeah. Poison. Uh, uh, and just to be clear, no particular order? No particular order. Okay. Searson, Poison, Chris J, Woxic, Simple. Okay. Molotov. On the feet of the players on Squeaky, Blame F. That's a double wallbang smoke frag. And hey, look at that. Confit going to add one to the tally as well. So I feel like FaZe having gotten ripped up, haven't even seen an enemy to shoot back at. It's for that reason that we have 500 health across the board on Complexity's side. And Poison, he's going to snap into the head of the red box. Oof, not quite the head, but still lands the shot. They are both back there. Config can smell them. Kirby jumps up with that one AK. And now he sees nothing, so they're just going to squeeze this out. Try to minimize losses here from complexity, get that economy rolling, and get your CT side glowing soon enough. Frag grenade busting Brokey down to a measly 26 HP. Scout from a distance gets one, and Blame will finish with his third frag there versus the lackluster weaponry of FaZe. So we're all tied up at nine rounds each. It's obviously really annoying because, you know, Config's Danish. And there's just no shortage of Danish all-stars. Yeah. But it, it feels like Config has even more to show us than he's shown us in his career. Right, at one point, he set the kill record in a single match. Uh, we've seen him have just explosive halves that don't slow down at all. Like, he doesn't seem to lose focus when he starts fragging too hard. Like, you know when you're having a great match and someone calls you a cheater at matchmaking, and then suddenly don't get a kill anymore? Yeah. Like, Config's not that guy. He'll go up 30, 40, and not even realize. He'll just keep going. And not many players have that capability. But now he's introduced a lot of discipline into his gameplay. Like, I did a, a demo review on him, of, and I've done like 60 demos now at this point in a row. Yeah. And he had one of the cleanest Mirage CT sides on Cat that I've ever seen. So much discipline. Hitting all the shots one bullet. When he didn't hit the first bullet, he was falling back. He made perfect rotations. He was just as smart with his keyboard as he was with his mouse. And I'd say that's, you know, an element of his gameplay that he, he kind of came back with, right? Uh, remember, Config fell off for the longest time. Then he kind of reinvented himself before he came back to this complexity lineup. Yeah, totally. And um, A lot more structure on this lineup, too. 
yeah, you know, I think more leadership as well. Found discipline in general, right? Yeah. Discipline's something that uh, everybody can use a little bit more of. Config's better off for it. Both in Counter-Strike and life. Flame F just racking up the frags. Poison with the headshot onto Olaf Meister. His seventh kill. Actually quite a quiet game from Poison and JKS. And neither of them, of course, have as little kills as Rush. <laughs> yeah. To think that as Config sits at 22 and Blame F has 20, Rush only has three. Yeah, if you add it together, Poison and uh, JKS's kills, and then multiplied Rush's kills by two, and then doubled that, you'd still have less than both those players. Yeah. Think and about that. You didn't even carry the four. <laughs> Round it up. Guns back in the server from both sides. Complexity arrive on double digits before FaZe Clan can. Smoke grenades chucked out. Oh my god, Blame actually <gasps> threw it. Yeah, oh I was my say. god, he took a fast step. Mm -hmm. someone's, someone's waiting for him. And then Kierby off of that kill, gonna waste zero time running downstairs. This should scramble complexity, but they actually haven't moved. Listen, this is the uh, number two FIFA player in the world right now, okay? He knows how to get across the field. <laughs> Man can sprint. And kick balls. Cold Zera <laughs> trades. But can he get them all? It's config so far. Rush in the rafters. Kierby in the vent. There is one imposter. Oh, GKS. But it looks like he'll win. They've uh, created tons of space here. There's just no rotation, so... Okay, drop down comes, but this is Kirby's kill to lose, really. Yeah, he's made noise. More damage. Hunt him down. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. JKS, he can't get caught off guard, man. He's he's too wide awake. But uh, they, it, it's been a fake, isn't it? Olaf working into upstairs. How does Poison hit that coming out of heaven? I don't know, but Cold hits him back with one. Rush stranded on Hut. Finds two frags to his name this round and absolutely crucial. Double AK save from Complexity. Double round advantage. That's 11-9 scoreline for Complexity. Crucial round to win as well. Leaving FaZe Clan strapped for cash. But that was that loud step coming out of Blame F. I feel like we got so, Look at this, look at this. <laughs> Falls down from heaven. Lands the shot. You know, luckily, scout accuracy reset after falling. Way better than that of the op. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You are a mobile damage output machine. And when you scope in, it looks like you're running faster. It's definitely a speed buff. <laughs> well, cross smokes come out, and they're not going to be able to do a... Oh, I'm kidding. Config will put tons of damage output through the smoke. Massive. Kirby, the first person to go down, and so much uh, residual damage on the rest of the players as well, and Blame F is in a great spot. However, Brokey trades him out. Config but takes again, down too. Config, he's just been such a key component of these holds. Yeah, like you said, w once he gets rolling, he doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. You know, it, it's an avalanche, but an infinitely long hill. Yeah, they're just FaZe Clan on a tiny snowboard getting chased down by an avalanche. That is Config. This time, Config, he's consumed like four Swiss villages on the side of the mountain. <laughs> Didn't even notice. Killed Maniac on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I laughing? Rush is going to close. Olaf removed from this 21st round. Three to the lead of complexity. Money is stacking up. I'm talking fat cash on complexity. And Config kind of gifted that second as Cold peeks back into it. I, I have to say, I feel like I've not, this has been a very unlucky game from FaZe's perspective for some of the swing rounds they lost in the first half, and now kind of a lot of these timings in the second. Mm. However, I'd say one of those swing kills was like, you know, Olaf should be getting the kill on Poison, but at the same time, it's not weird that Poison hits a ridiculous shot like that when he knows he's supposed to die. That's what he does. So, you know, you got to give him credit for, you know, <laughs> definitely aiming in the right spot, even though he wasn't meant to be falling. Blame F. That's an easy pickup as rain falls from the silo. He makes sound on top of Mini. This is a gun round as well, so we expect better things from FaZe. JKS better swing for the fences. There's three players in that smoke. I can't believe he has nine kills. He's been getting nothing but impact frags. He's going to commit deep on the wall. They jump outwards. He gets one. Good enough. Definitely good enough. It's going to send Config spiraling down to Decon. He opens up the door. 
Oh, dude, oh, bad bounce on the smoke. A little it, bit of clipping. Oh, it just caught that little Look at edge. this, and Config can use it against them. He's just going to go into it. He's They're going to some... follow up with another smoke, but I mean, he's already inside of it. He's going to go ahead and peek around it. Oh, God. What a play from Config. I wonder if this that is actually so... bears fruit. <gasps> Cold Zera has the silo in his face. He can't see him, but now it's a 1v1 between Config and Cold, and the bomb gets thrown down. Config... Whether he knows it or not is a mastermind. Oh, he knows it. That spatial awareness right up against the ramp. And the fact is right now, he's moving right and he's taking the correct duels and he's barely winning all his 50-50s because he's just that on point at the moment. Even even outdueling Cold Zera, really sick stuff. This is tough. This is a shame. I feel like FaZe Clan would beat great teams right now. But at the same time, Config has 27 kills and Blame Math has 23. And JKS has 10 kills, but I swear, I swear on everything, every one of those was a rifle kill, and it was an important moment. But look at how, how, how that smoke messes them up. They cannot make progress across the site. They would never throw that smoke themselves. Yeah, Cold Zera, understandable. Very frustrating uh, game. Yeah, understandable disappointment on that on that play. 50 frags between Blame F and Config. If complexity is a juggernaut, Full then these two right Danes there. are just their giant fists. You know. Unbelievable. Poison. He's going to find one with the op outdoors, and this half is just starting to fizzle out now. Every time we get phase on guns, complexity running away with it. You know, you only got so much give in the tank, right? After a certain amount of hurt, it's just going yeah. to bear down on you. You're going to forget about how close it was at one point, and you're just going to give in. When it, hurt, when it hurts so much, you have to pass out. Yeah. Config headshot onto Olaf to close it. Damn. He's shooting for 30. Two more rounds to get there. We'll see if Blame F can catch up. 52 kills between the two of them. Just two of them, yeah. 38 for the other three members of Complexity. I thought Full Patrol disbanded. <laughs> no, Blame F and Config just ate them. Consumed the energy. Gobbled them up. Just called them the snowboard kids. Why is that? With the avalanche analogy. Okay. Plus the, yeah. I don't like it. No board bros. Okay, fine. Besides, I think Danes prefer like the long ski uh -oh. jump. Yeah, it's so, like the national sport. I'm probably making so many people mad right now in production. Probably. What do they sound like right now, Connor? Long ski jump? <laughs> What's he talking about? <laughs> we like cycling and handball. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get fired. Well, at least we go down laughing. Like Complexity, who aren't going down at all, damn it. You look at the round count. We're talking about seven in a row here for the CT side. The only round they just phase that picked up is that pistol. Oh my god. Blame F peeks round the smoke, gets a double kill by Redbox. JKS trying to spam and get one to his name. And the smokes fade as Brokey does get downstairs alongside Cold Zera. But neither of them actually have the bomb, and nor does Olaf Meister. Someone's going to have to go get it back from Red. There's 35 seconds left. Man, they... This is so... I mean, it was either Rain or Kirby, or I guess Cold Zera, but they missed their molly in secret. It tagged the roof, it bounced back, and then Blame Map just peaked because, of course, that's a protocol they messed up. Just sprayed down too. All right, they got the bomb, but that leaves them with 15 seconds. They have to go, and Olaf's late lurk nets them nothing. So Poison, now he can fixate forward easily. 10 seconds, he's going to drop Cold Zera. All too easy for Poison. He's catching back up, nearly even. 13 frags at the end of that one, a 3k from the op. Config still gunning for the 30 bomb, as is Blame. Yeah. But maybe only one round to remain, as FaZe starting to walk into a brick wall named Complexity. Yeah. No, Poison, he's ice cold, man. One time I was sitting beside him while he had white sweatpants on, the Complexity sweatpants, I was eating chicken wings. And then I was like eating them all, and then one of the chicken wings flipped up in the air, and a little bit of drip landed right beside his sweatpants. And I was like, oh, sorry, man. And he just looked at me dead in the eyes and said, I knew that would happen. <laughs> I thought I was sitting beside Morpheus or something. Did he get up and leave? No, but he was furious. I think. I, I, I can't read <laughs> this guy. You don't know, man. Yeah. You don't know. Yeah, for all you know, man, there's a there's a hit out on your net. Yeah, your I'm on a list. 
I knew that would happen. <laughs> I couldn't believe that he said that. Oh, so gangster. That's why he's so good at Counter-Strike, man. Steps ahead. Smokes ahead. Thrown into the garage. The deep wall. Phase going to try and play around it. Config will nail Cold Zera's head to the wall. Rush catching a player inside of the smoke. This T side has not delivered. They had the pistol, and that was really convincing, but everything since then belongs to Complexity, and that is an absolute stomp in the second half. To net Complexity, the opening 